Okay, so we're, we're looking at getting rid of unwanted elements in our composition. And one of the, one of the, the ways that this is done uh, is by using what's called a clone tool. Now, all the clone tool does, and this is your clone tool, clone stamp tool, beg your pardon, is it allows you to take or sample part of the image by holding down Alt, and you'll see a little target pop up. So you're basically saying copy or sample this part of the image, and then when you let go of Alt, actually this needs to be rastered first, I beg your pardon, we need to go back a step. Now, what I'm gonna suggest here is that rather than getting rid of our smart layer here, we're going to create a copy first of all by dragging it down onto the little page icon, switching off one of our versions and then right clicking on the other one and going up to rasterize layer. Now what this does is, or it's basically saying whereas we had a smart layer we now want to get all of the things that were applied to it and embed them in the pixels. Okay, so, so basically turn this into just a bunch of pixels that reflect the changes that we made, not a smart object that has filters attached to it that can be edited and stuff like that. So I leave a copy there just in case I need to go back a few steps and, and um, change it up. Now this is only one of many ways you can get into other ways of doing this. So you probably will find other ways as you're working on these things yourselves, but this is the simplest way for what we're doing right now. So I've got my, um, Rasterize layer, so I'm just going to call this um, cloned layer. Now, so back to where I was. I get my stamp tool. I'm going to get a bigger size. Again, I can go up in the hundreds, up to about two or three hundred. And I'm going to hold down Alt and sample a part of the image that has black in it. And then I move up over the part I want to copy that or clone that part onto and click and just kind of brush to the left and the right a little bit and you'll see a little plus that's telling you okay as you're moving you're copying the part with the plus and you're cloning it into the area that you're brushing. Now in 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 reality you know to be fair you could probably just get a black brush here but you will find sometimes that it could be an area with a little bit of grass in it or short grass or, or pebbles or something like that, that you don't have the luxury of just getting, you know, a pebble colored uh, brush. You need to actually find a part of the image with pebbles in it and clone it back in. In fact, if I go back into my old over the shoulder shot here, now this is a, a, a way that you can get a little bit more creative with it. So for example here, I've got a, a, a fold in my grass which doesn't look particularly natural so what I could do is I could get my stamp tool and perhaps uh, sample a bit of the the mid gray tone there and just move it up and try and paint out yeah opacity let's see let's take the size down and just break that up. So you see there what I did was I cloned over the fold and it it allows me to be a little bit more kind of creative painting stuff in and out to get oh, that looks a bit nasty but to get uh, to get rid of these folds and turn them more into what look like kind of grassy areas. So the clone tool is a very much used when you're doing things like photo restoration and you need to uh, try and copy a part of the good image into a part with a problem and uh, things like that. So again, going to use the clone tool to try and just paint over these folds and give it a little bit more of a natural look. So that looks a little bit more like grass. Uh, you can't see it terribly clearly there on the projector screen, but um, it no longer looks like folds 
it looks more like uh, something a little bit more natural looking. So that's the clone tool. You're sampling, picking a color from one place, and you're cloning it and stamping that clone onto another part of the image.